Ever wonder how lumbar disc replacement surgery is actually performed? It begins with the patient under general anesthesia, so they're completely asleep and comfortable. Instead of operating from the back, the surgeon usually approaches from the front of the body through a small incision in the abdomen, gently moving muscles and organs aside to reach the spine without cutting through back muscles. Once the damaged disc is exposed, the surgeon carefully removes it, clearing out any fragments pressing on nerves and preparing the space between the vertebrae. Then comes the key step, inserting an artificial disc designed to mimic the natural movement of a healthy one. The implant is positioned with extreme precision so the spine can bend, twist, and flex normally. Once the disc is secured, the surgeon closes the incision layer by layer and the patient is moved to recovery. Many people stand and walk later the same day, and because motion is preserved instead of fused, recovery can feel more natural.